Devil's Lake, presented by Emily Scheller. Beautiful Devil's Lake is located in Devil's Lake State Park in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Devil's Lake was formed about 15,000 years ago during the Wisconsin glaciation. It is young in comparison to the bedrock, the Baraboo Quartzite, that surrounds the lake. 1.6 billion years ago, the Baraboo area was a shallow sea that had rivers flowing to it, which deposited lots of sediment, specifically sand. Over time, the sand compacted to form sandstone. The sandstone was then metamorphosed to form the Baraboo Quartzite. About 100,000 years ago, the Laurentide Ice Sheet began to spread across the northern part of the continent. The glacier did not begin to advance into Wisconsin until about 26,000 years ago. The Laurentide Ice Sheet was divided into lobes and named after the area in which the glacier advanced. The Green Bay Lobe advanced southward and covered the southeast end of Baraboo, which is depicted in the middle figure. The ancient Wisconsin River flowed through the Baraboo Bluffs, which can be seen in the top figure. The glacier's advancement and the sediment left behind caused the Wisconsin River to be redirected, which is shown in the bottom figure. I created an animation showing the Green Bay Lobe advancing into the southeast end of Baraboo. Looking north, we can see the west, east, and south bluffs. The ancient Wisconsin River is moving through the Baraboo Bluffs. The glacier advances and covers the north end and southeast end of the area. The glacier was present in the area for about 10,000 years where it reached its maximum. During this time period, sediment was deposited and eventually dammed the river. The river was redirected around the bluffs. Around 15,000 years ago, the glaciers began to retreat as temperatures warmed. The meltwater carried sediment that dammed the river and also filled in the previous river valley to begin forming present-day Devil's Lake. The sediment that was deposited from the glacier on either side of the present-day Devil's Lake are known as terminal moraines. A terminal moraine is a glacial feature that marks the maximum glacial advance. The moraines are created when a glacier advances and pauses at a location. The glacier continues to progress forward from behind, but continues to melt at the toe of the glacier. The end result is that the glacier acts as a conveyor belt, bringing sediment to the front of the glacier. The moraines at Devil's Lake are called terminal moraines because they mark the furthest extent of the Green Bay Lobe. Terminal moraines can be seen today looking towards the north end of Devil's Lake, point A on the bottom figure, and the southeast end of Devil's Lake, point B on the bottom figure. This picture shows the terminal moraine on the north end of the lake, and this picture shows the terminal moraine on the southeast end of the lake. Many unique rock formations that have been formed by freeze and thaw are found within Devil's Lake State Park. Freeze and thaw is when water repeatedly enters cracks and rocks and freezes, pushing the rock apart. Examples of rock formations created by freeze and thaw are Elephant Rock, Balanced Rock, and Devil's Doorway. I recommend that you plan a trip to Devil's Lake State Park to observe the glacial features, unique rock formations, and the lake itself.